Alright, hey, what's going on, guys? James here from Manifest Griefing, bringing you episode 2 of How to Code Minecraft Client. Uh, today we're going to be coding uh, Fulbright and X-Ray. Um, these are two simple uh, hacks, uh, and it shouldn't take you too long to code. So, uh, first thing you want to go, you're going to want to do is go into your variables class. And if you haven't already, make a um a boolean for Fulbright and X-ray just like this and don't worry about the fly the, uh, we haven't got that working yet that's just there for decoration I guess so first thing you're gonna want to do uh, is make a check key for both of them so check key keyboard dot key and I'm gonna choose X for the X-ray so variables dot x-ray equals variables dot x-ray and if you don't know what I'm doing you probably have not watched my first video and if you haven't you should watch it just to make things more clear to you because if you haven't then I'm probably going pretty fast for you guys um, and I'm picking J for Fulbright So, yeah, these are just the activators, I guess, or the um, key, key, hotkeys. And make sure you have your um, semicolons and your exclamation points. If you don't, then it's not going to work. So, now we can also add it to their menu if you want to. So, I'm just going to copy the font renderer. And to add onto it, just put another if statement right after the other font render. X ray, open it up, put that in, make sure you change it. Oops. X ray. And make sure you change your uh, spacing. So 36 is the next one. Else. And then this will be 247F, and that's the off. Again, make sure you change it. X ray and 36. So now you can do Fulbright. So variables dot Fulbright. Oh, wait, and also change your keys. You don't want to confuse yourself. Alright, so open that up and J is my key full bright off I'm just gonna and this one is 48 if you don't know how I'm getting those numbers I'm just adding um 12 to the last number so 36 plus 12 is 48 and uh, that's actually on that's supposed to be the on and then this is make sure that's 24 7 4 and there you go you should be good and then after that you're going to want to go back into your project explorer and find block.java it should be at the top block.java alright so double click on that should open this up and this is a pretty long file so what you're gonna want to do is hold control and F search up brightness uh, not that one so pr you're gonna want to press it twice until you find public float get block brightness and wait a minute uh, now you're gonna want to scroll down I think wait a minute it should be no wait a minute not that one boom, boom. um wait I think it is there okay uh yeah okay Oh, wait, that's a hardness. 
Yeah, okay, hold on, guys. Alright, guys. Uh, yeah, this was the right place. So, what you want to do is... Um, by the way, guys, most of my codes I'm getting for... Um, because I learned most of my coding from a guy named PrivateBots. And his channel will be in the description. He's an awesome coder. But he stopped making Minecraft videos. So, I'm just pretty much not really redoing his videos, but... I guess you can say I'm redoing his videos, but uh, just explaining more. So you're gonna want to put an if statement, variables dot full bright, and then we're going to want to open that up, and you're going to want to put return 1000 f, and then semicolon, and then after that there's an else statement, and yeah, and then you can I, you can just copy that and then right here do the same thing except you delete the F so it's just 1000 and then oh wait a minute yeah you're pretty much done with block.java um, that's for Fulbright at least x-ray we're not done yet um, for both of them you're going to want to put in um, MC dot global no 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 wait MC dot global let's load renderers first global hold on it's not giving me my menu come on oops wait it's like global no wait here we go I have my other my other um my other Client, so uh, X-ray MC dot render global. Okay, it's MC dot render, and then capital G in global dot load renderers and and the N R in renderers is um, capital, and I didn't do that right. Oh, okay, I forgot the uh, the parentheses. Ren render -ers. there we go okay just a misspelling alright so what that does is just um, pretty much re-renders everything so that it'll it'll turn on the Fulbright fully so you want to you're gonna want to put that for both of them dot load load renders alright Alright, yeah. And this is especially important for the x ray, so just put both of them on the bottom. Wait a minute. Uh. Yeah, okay. I did that right. So. Now, <coughs> if you go back to here, and in the parentheses, you're gonna put a space, and then two bars. And uh, those bars are are um, shift and then the backslash. So yeah, and then variables dot x-ray. Yeah, this is this this is pretty much exact same coding from private bots. So yeah, and you're gonna put that for both of them. Boom boom variables dot x-ray and that boom boom was kind of gay but whatever and then you should have a block here we go if stay oh it's so right, right beneath the public boolean should side be rendered if um variables dot x-ray then you're gonna open it up and I believe hold up Hold on, let me check. Cause I haven't done an X-ray mod in a while. Block dot Java. All right, let me just search for X-ray. All right. 
oh wait a minute so we have to do that and then so right after that else statement press enter you're gonna wanna open it up and then put the return block thing inside that else statement and you should be set and also do that do that for both of them so also here open it up and save it okay now we can get back to the x-ray um, what did I do here alright so return block ID okay return block ID no wait a minute what did I do there goodness ID equals equals and then now you can put any um that data value so like uh, a chest I think is 54 I'm not sure about like diamonds so I believe 14 is diamonds so yeah block ID because it was 14 so um what you're picking out is what the x-ray is gonna render so if you if you only want diamonds then you only put the data value for diamonds if you only want um if you only want chest then you only have to put in the data value for chest and make sure they're separated for from or using these two um lines and then semicolon at the end so anyway um yeah anyway just put in it uh the data values you want actually i think 14 is cold but that doesn't really matter let's just load it up mm. okay everything seems to be working if we load up the world all right yeah it works okay so now as you can see we have the menu and x-ray yeah it works it's just that you have to put in the data values because I put in oh wait 14 is diamonds so if you want diamonds then there you go uh, the Fulbright uh, yeah that's working too I think it's just because it's daytime you can't really see it but if I go down here lock myself off yep it works okay that's good so um yeah guys like I said just put in the data values uh, 54 is chest and also just a note um if you have smooth lighting on you're not gonna see anything or right, well you will see things but to see how the lighting is really bad you can't even see the diamonds uh, you're gonna have to turn smooth lighting off so yeah just a note there so uh, next tutorial uh, is going to be a climb a climb hack and uh, yeah I guess just a climb hack for that one I'm not too sure but anyway guys thanks for watching episode 3 uh, subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next video bye